Hello, a warm welcome to you from SGT University. I am Mukesh Kumar from Faculty of Science. Today you will be learning about pulse modulation techniques. In this video, you will learn about pulse amplitude modulation, pulse position modulation and pulse width modulation. Now start with the pulse amplitude modulation. Pulse modulation is a type of modulation in which the signal is transmitted in the form of pulses. It can be used to transmit analog information. In pulse modulation, continuous signals are sampled at regular intervals. Pulse modulation can be classified into two major types. First, analog. Its indication of sample amplitude is infinitely variable. Digital. It indicates sample amplitude at the nearest predetermined level. A block diagram showing the basic classification of pulse modulation techniques is given. Analog modulations are of three types pulse amplitude modulation pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation. Digital modulations are of two types, pulse code modulation and delta modulation. Pulse amplitude modulation. In pulse amplitude modulation technique, the amplitude of the pulse carrier varies, which is proportional to the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. The pulse amplitude modulated signal will follow the amplitude of the original signal as the signal traces out the path of the whole wave. In natural pulse amplitude modulation, a signal sampled at Nyquist rate can be reconstructed by passing it through an efficient low pass filter with exact cutoff frequency. Following diagram explain the pulse amplitude modulation. Though the pulse amplitude modulated signal is passed through a low pass filter, it cannot recover the signal without distortion. Hence, to avoid this noise, use flat top sampling. The flat top pulse amplitude modulated signal is shown in the following figure. Flat top sampling is the process in which the sampled signal can be represented in pulses for which the amplitude of the signal cannot be changed with respect to analog signal to be sampled. The tops of amplitude remain flat. This process simplifies the circuit design. Advantages of pulse amplitude modulation Both modulation and demodulation are simple, easy construction of transmitter and receiver circuits. Disadvantages of Pulse Amplitude Modulation Large bandwidth is required for transmission. More noise. Here the amplitude is varying, therefore the power required will be more. Applications of Pulse Amplitude Modulation It's mainly used in internet communication. Many microcontrollers use this technique in order to generate control signals. It is used in photobiology. It acts as an electronic driver for LED circuits. Now let us discuss pulse width modulation technique. Pulse width modulation also called as pulse duration modulation or pulse time modulation technique in which the width or the duration or the time of pulse carrier varies which is proportional to the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. Width of the pulse varies in this method but the amplitude of the signal remains constant. Amplitude limiters are used to make the amplitude of the signal constant. These circuits clip off the amplitude to a desired level 
and hence the noise is limited. Following figure explains the types of pulse width modulation. There are three types of pulse width modulation. First, the leading edge of pulse being constant, the trailing edge varies according to the message signal. The waveform for this type of pulse width modulation is denoted as A in the above figure. Second, the trailing edge of the pulse being constant, the leading edge varies according to the message signal. The waveform for this type of pulse width modulation is denoted as B in the above figure. Third, the center of pulse being constant, the leading edge and the trailing edge varies according to the message signal. The waveform for this type of pulse width modulation is denoted as C shown in the above figure. Advantages of Pulse Width Modulation Low Power Consumptions It has an efficiency of about 90% Noise Interference is less High Power Handling Capacity Disadvantages of Pulse Width Modulation Circuit is more complex Voltage spikes can be seen The system is expensive as it uses semiconductor devices. Switching losses will be more due to high pulse width modulated frequency. Applications of pulse width modulation used in encoding purposes in the telecommunication system. Used to control brightness in a smart lighting system. Helps to prevent overheating in LEDs while maintaining its brightness. Now let us discuss pulse position modulation. Pulse position modulation is an analog modulation scheme in which the amplitude and the width of the pulses are kept constant while the position of each pulse with reference to the position of a reference pulse varies according to the instantaneous sampled value of the message signal. The transmitter has to send synchronizing pulses to keep the transmitter and the receiver in sync. These sync pulses help to maintain the position of the pulses. The following figures explain the pulse position modulation. Pulse position modulation is done in accordance with the pulse width modulated signal. Each trailing edge of the pulse width modulated signals becomes the starting point for pulses in pulse position modulation signal. Advantages of pulse position modulation First, as it has constant amplitude, noise interference is less. Second, we can easily separate signals from a noise signal. Third, among all three types, it has the most powerful efficiency. Fourth. It requires less power when compared to pulse amplitude modulation. Disadvantages of pulse position modulation First, the system is highly complex. Second, the system requires more bandwidth. Applications of pulse position modulation First, it is used in the air traffic control system and telecommunication systems. Second, remote controlled car, planes, trains use pulse code modulation. And third, it is used to compress data and hence it is used for storage. So today we covered pulse modulation techniques and next time we meet we will be exploring digital modulation technique. Keep learning, keep growing. See you next time.